Hi there guys, so some more reports from Deontay Wilder fanboys who just cannot let this go. It was his gloves, apparently Tyson Fury tampered with his gloves. Now all of a sudden, Maurizio Suleiman puts a tweet up saying that Tyson Fury is guilty of failing a VADA test. And then below that, he said he is guilty of failing a test because he's an effing legend. But they didn't read that, they read the part about the VADA test failed from Tyson Fury and they jump to conclusions and they start reporting it and they start saying on social media that Tyson Fury has failed an A sample. Tyson Fury has not failed no A sample, no B sample. Had he failed that, we would have known by now because VADA would inform the public straight away. Obviously, UCAD in the UK has to be a private case, whereas VADA is a voluntary anti-doping agency. So they will post it straight away. It will go straight to the media. Everyone will find out. So if Tyson Fury had failed a drugs test, then we would all know about it. Varda would have let us know. Not Maurizio Suleiman. He would not be the first one reporting this case. So these Deontay Wilder fanboys, not all of them, some Deontay Wilder fans are taking this loss on the chin. They are saying fair play to Tyson Fury. They are giving Tyson Fury the credit he deserves. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about these fanboys who are making up these theories about Tyson Fury tampering with gloves, about how the referee wasn't right, about this and that and now saying that Tyson Fury has failed a drugs test. Well, all I have to say to that is keep it up because you will get sued. I can guarantee you that because that is defamation of character, saying that Tyson Fury has failed a drugs test when he hasn't. And it is just straight up bullshit because Tyson Fury has not failed any drugs test in the build up to this fight and after the fight. So go search for something else because I guarantee you they will try and find something else. There has got to be a reason. Why is their champion? been knocked out. The knockout artist, the biggest, baddest man on the planet, has just been pommeled in seven rounds by Tyson Fury, someone who is not a puncher, someone who is pillow fist, and yet he still knocked out Deontay Wilder. So what does that say about their champion? As I said, this is not an attack on the Deontay Wilder fans as a whole, because some of them are giving Tyson Fury the credit. So those guys, I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who are trying to find a reason why Deontay Wilder lost. The reason why he lost is he got beaten by the better man. Take it on the chin, move on. That's it. Tyson Fury is better than Deontay Wilder. That's why he won. So stop making excuses for someone who just wasn't good enough. And I'm going to admit, after the fight, I was respectful of Deontay Wilder because I seen what he had to go through in there and I seen that he wanted to stay in there. So respect to Deontay Wilder. And I was never going to kick him while he was down. Deontay Wilder lost the fight to the better man. Take it, move on. He will come back in the rematch, probably get beaten again. But still, don't make excuses because Tyson Fury is the better man. He outboxed him in the first one. Got a draw, which was a rough decision for Tyson Fury. In the second fight, didn't leave it up to judges. He went for him, stood in front of him, walked him down, battered him. Beat him up in front of his home crowd. Took that WBC belt and bring it back to Britain. So how do you like that, Deontay Wilder fanboys? Your man lost. Take it, move on. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? These Deontay Wilder fanboys clutching at straws again. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click your thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.